All right, what's up, guys? A little bit different of video. You know, obviously, I'm in front of my camera as I am here, but you know, I'm, at, I'm on my PC playing video games. You know, haven't done one of these sit down talks in a long time. I'm even. Uh, I dropped my mic. I'm on my map. I'm on the. I'm on the headphones. Okay, today I'm talking a sports video. You know, I haven't done that in a long time. I, it's what I originally started this channel on. You know, you guys go to them cringy ones way back there. You know, high school Vinny is here, and he's here to stay. I can't really go back. I wish, I wish I could. You know, good old days. Um, I, I want to talk. I want to sit down here, pull an EDP, talk about the Seahawks' chances of making the Super Bowl this year. Playoff seeds are set. You got one seed. I'm just NFC. You know, okay. Packers, Saints, Seahawks, football team. Then it is the Buccaneers, Rams, Bears. Okay, AFC is Chiefs, Chiefs, Bills, Steelers, Titans, and then you know Colts are seven. Colts, Browns. It it doesn't it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm talking about NFC today. Seahawks. Beginning of the year, weeks probably one through seven. I didn't think we we were, we were that beatable. Just just kidding. Our our defense was some booty booty buns. Okay, um, that was kind of our rough stretch of games, or our medium, and then we had our rough stretch, and then at the end we had our NFC East, and then the Jets, and stuff. Um, just offense looked good, defense looked terrible, right? And then we switched. You know, Russ stopped looking like an MVP candidate and went to playing like a dumpster fire. In order to win the Super Bowl, a lot of people know defense wins championships, right? Defense is on a hot streak right now. Probably playing like a top five, top seven, you know, top ten, definitely. Defense past three or four weeks. Um, that The defense is stepped up, right? And it is time for the offense to step up. Okay. You have a very capable quarterback in Russell Wilson. You've got a top 10, most underrated running back. Can't really change my mind. Uh, of Chris Carson. DK Metcalf is playing like a top 5 receiver this year. Lockett's low-key playing like a top 10 this year. You know, obviously he's probably around the 15 range um, this year. Um, you got Greg Olson, who's a great leader. Still a great tight end. You know, I like Jacob Hollister, backup tight end. Will Disley's good blocking. Um, if our O-line can stay healthy, we kind of mixed around, you know, O-line can stay healthy, very high-powered offense, you know, they can easily put up points, right? Defensive line is, um, especially with the Carlos Dunlap trade, I think week eight, um, has really stepped up, you know, sacks, pressures, you know, QB hurries, you know, getting to the quarterback, which is what the defensive line is supposed to do. Very young guys, Puna Ford, LJ Collier. Um, stepped up to the roles very nicely. I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Alton Robinson, I think. Uh, one of them. Um, you know, obviously Carlos Dunlap has really provided a boost. Uh, Benson Mayoa has been very good off the edge uh, this year. You know, linebackers, great as usual. Um, Bobby Wagner, K.J. Wright playing like top 10 uh, inside. Uh, Bobby's best inside linebacker in the league. Can't really tell me any different. Um, K.J. Wright's been playing like a top 10 you know, um, outside linebacker, right outside linebacker, I think is what he is. And then a very good draft pick looking so far. And um, Jordan Brooks leads the team in tackles past two weeks. Very good on limited snaps. Obviously, you got Jamal Adams. If he is healthy, he is a top five safety in the league. Corners, you know, Shaq Griffin may be above average. Um, he's just been kind of banged up a lot. Um, I, I really do like Shaq Griffin. Um, if he can stay focused, you know, don't get his ego high. Um, very good corner uh, cornerback one. Um, DJ Reed, I think he was a practice squad signing earlier this year. Uh, playing lights out these past two or three weeks. Earned a starting job. Quandre Diggs is a pro bowler this year. Very good in ball hawking safety. I'm... I really like uh, Quandre Dix. I think that was last year's um, trade, maybe year before. Very good pickup, very good safety. Um, you know, even if you get Trey Flowers back, um, you know, he's the stinky, stinky. He's back to a 
high end uh quarterback three, you know, if he can play with brain cells. Um, you know, and I think Quint Dunbar is out um knee surgery. Um, you know, maybe another corner depth. I arguably top top best co- kicker in the league this year, knock on wood. Um I do top five. Come come on. Jason Myers, knock on wood, knock on wood. Um, kicking lights out. Don't think he's missed a field goal. Knock, knock. You better be knocking. Knock on wood. Best kicker in the league has not missed a field goal. Missed a few extra points. Come back to haunt us a little bit. But special teams is usually pretty solid. You know, we have a lot, bunch of block kicks. Um, you know, Ryan Neal off the edge. I really like this team's chances. Um, NFC besides the Packers, I think we can beat about any team any day. Um, Packers, we're going to need a very, very tough game, especially with how Aaron Rodgers is playing. Um, you know, the Saints, I think they get Kamara back because they play on a Sunday where he tested positive, um, but I'm not really worried about them playing for the Bears, I'm pretty sure, seven seed. Uh, Buccaneers, I think, will um, beat the football team. I think that we play the winner of the Saints game, I'm pretty sure. Very... Um, you know, if we can take out a team like the Packers, you know, the Buccaneers come back with a win in the divisional round. You know, I think we'll play the Saints, I'm pretty sure. Um, that is definitely a team we can beat, you know, especially Drew Brees. We can neutralize him. Um, I don't even know if Michael Thomas is still playing. If, he can, if, my, if we can shut down Slant Boy, this team is pretty solid, you know, I, I say we're above average and have some mighty beans on our team that look like they have never seen a football before most given Sundays. You know, you've got the consistent top three at their position, Bobby Wagner, Russell Wilson, Jamal Adams, um, and then you got very good, reliable dudes, Ty Lockett, David Moore, one of the most underrated um, wide receivers in the league, um, Chris Carson, um, Dwayne Brown, one of the best left tackles in the league. I don't know how many more years he's got. Ethan Pochich has been very well, very well, very good at center. And um, I like this team's chances, especially um, if a team like the Buccaneers can pull off an upset against the Packers. I I see us winning the second behind uh, the Packers in the NFC playoffs this year. You know, anything can happen, you know. The one thing I've started to learn is never doubt the Seahawks in the postseason. Because they will be down looking like the worst team in football. All of a sudden, they won a game, and they're in the Super Bowl in the the NFC Championship. Trust me, I've seen it from 2013, 2014, when we were down the Packers, of all people. Good. You talk about throwing and yelling things as a 7-year-old, 8-year-old. Golly, bro. Homie, I had rage issues, you know, when it was coming to the Seahawks, bro. If we can play like we're supposed to, most of the team's been there before. You know, Jamal, great playmaker. He's not been there before, but I trust he's well enough. My camera might be shaking. I'm cold. Um, Jamal, if he acts like he's been there, Bobby, seasoned veteran, best one of the best to ever play at the middle linebacker position, I think, you know, maybe a little biased, but, you know, I think top 15 all time. Um, you know, I put him somewhere around Keekly, and people put Keekly in the GOAT conversation, so... Um, Russell Wilson, top three, top five this year, definitely, you know, he slipped. Russ is going to pick up his stride. Carson's going to be a tank. DK is going to be DK, DK Swolecalf, hopefully. And then Tyler Lockett is going to put a lock on that ball, you know what I'm saying? O-line doesn't look like it's having a fart face poop show. Keep getting friendly here. Um, this team is going places. D-line steps up like they have been. Middle linebackers are middle line or linebackers are linebackers. DJ Reed continues like he's playing. Quandre Diggs keeps grabbing interceptions. This team's good. One key is not excuse me, not turning the ball over. Right here. I know I'm going on on a ten minute, thirty eleven minute rant. If we don't turn the ball over and we get the ball, it's wraps. You know, I think we're like 5-0 and when we lead in the turnover margin. Um, and then, you know, 5-0 is not bad. Just right there, it's when we pull up, 
best time to play right now is the Seahawks playoff time, playoff football. That is literally all we do. We we could be nine and seven, barely make the playoffs, or ten and six, barely make the playoffs. Somehow we make it to the divisional round. You know, again, I, I'm gonna say this one more time. Not doubting this team is literally the best thing you can do. You could be down thirty to nothing at halftime, and there's uh, I'm like, okay, this game's over. Turn turn it off. Wh- why is it thirty one to thirty? What what happened? You know what I mean? It, literally anything can happen. Um, never doubt Russ, because Russ has been hated on since he was drafted. You know, too small, not athletic. You know beat out a guy we paid a boatload of money for. Look where he's at. Um, you know, trust in Pete. Pete may not look like he knows what he's doing. Ken Norton may not look know what he's doing all the time. You know, prevent in the first quarter. Really, really, Ken? I know you're watching this, Ken. Um, but just just doing what we do. The, playing for the, for the, for the chip, the, the trophy. That is what Seahawks are all for. You know, we're a very winning culture, winning team. And I think we carry this. Defense plays like they have been. Offense steps up a little bit, which everyone should be healthy on offense. This team is the team to beat besides maybe the Packers. If Packers leave, this team is going to the Super Bowl. Thank you guys for listening to my 12-minute rant. Love you guys. God bless. Peace out.